Okay, for part two of this series on down and dirty video marketing, let's talk about what type videos should we be producing as small businesses. When I think about what, I think about introductions. Hey Terry, Scott Sky Bell. I wanted to this is an example of a video I did after I met somebody at a networking event. You know, I've done a lot of different came back here into my home office. Right here, this is at my home office. And I put together a quick little introductory video to follow up with him on some of the key points that we talked about. Now, what I love about these introductory videos is that they're perfect for our elevator speeches. So when you've got your little 30 second elevator speech, use that as, as a video introduction. Make a video out of that. And, and here's another thing I like to do with them. Put that into your footer of your email signature. So anytime you send something out, people can see, oh, there's a video there. I can click on this and learn more about you know, that service. Uh, you may want to create like a little email signature and create an image of, of what it, that video player looks like on YouTube. So when they click it, it's actually a link that'll take them right to that video. So incorporate video introductions um, you know, into your mix. It's a great type of video just to get the word out, share people with who you are and what you do and, and all that. Now, another video I like to uh, talk about are product demos. And product demos are huge because if you actually sell a product or, um, or something that you can demonstrate, it, it's a great way to do it. Now, Blendtec is, is known for doing this. What they do is they'll take all sorts of products, they sell blenders, and they want to see, will it blend? And so anytime they put a, a smartphone, be it an iPhone or an iPad into a blender, they will demonstrate that, by gosh, it will blend. But it also goes to tell you how strong their blenders are. Because if I can blend up an iPad, well, you know, it shouldn't have a hard time with a margarita, you know, in the summer. So um, anyway, it's a great way. So if you've got a product that, that you, you know, use, go ahead and create a video and show people. And definitely, particularly if your product is what Billy Mays used to call demonstrable. In other words, that you can really show it doing something cool, like blending an iPad. But anytime you've got a product that you can show how it works and it's doing something really cool, it's demonstrable, that is an awesome type of video. Now, another type of video is educational. And, and I'm a big believer in that. I come out of the training industry. So I try to make a lot of my videos educational. I want to teach something. I want to share knowledge with people. Khan Academy is putting together very simple screencast type videos, but they're educational in nature. And so much so, he has thousands of these videos and he's also raised millions of dollars to produce more. So he's actually built a whole business around it. But those educational how-to videos are awesome on YouTube because that's what people are looking for. How do I fix my sink? How do I change this? How do I program, you know, my, my TiVo or whatever? Those types of how-to videos are fantastic. So use educational types of videos. Now, here's one that I, I wanted to show. Frequently asked questions. What type questions does your business get on a regular basis? Those are great videos because you can answer them. You can build up a library of what your prospects and customers are looking for so you can build the support desk. I happen to like you know, this example here because what, what this person is doing is they're actually conducting an interview over Skype and they turned that into frequently asked questions. So it's educational, it's a frequently asked question, and they're using somebody else's uh, subject matter expertise, some other expert's uh, opinion and creating a video for their website out of that. So I thought that was an excellent example, but frequently asked questions are fantastic. 
training. And I talked a little bit about this in education, but in this example, this person's a dog trainer. And I know it might be kind of hard to see here, but what, what's going on here is, you, you know, you think you got this dog walking up on its legs and everything. It's actually quite the opposite. This dog is actually doing a handstand and walking on its front paws. So they're demonstrating the, what their dog training skills are and how they train their animals and some of the tricks that they can do. So creating training videos for your staff and even perhaps your customers are a fantastic opportunity for videos. And of course, a big one for social proof are testimonials. And any time you can get somebody to, to share with others what their experience was, it's fantastic. Now, I feel bad for this guy. You know, he used to be overweight, but you can see by using, you know, the P90X, he went from, you know, being real heavy and he's dropped a ton of weight. That is a perfect testimonial. So in your business, what are the types of testimonials you can put together? How might they benefit you know, the customers and what type of social proof can you share with prospective customers? So in the webinar, in the seminar, we were talking about what might be some of the other ways that you could use video. So take this moment and, and think about your business and think about what other types of videos you'd like to see in your business and how can you decrease your uh, your buying uh, cycle time? How can you help your customers out? What type of information are they looking for? How might you use them in a marketing environment? So if you'd like to see the first video, this one right here kicked off the whole series. And I'll tell you what, if you want to see the next video in the series, take a look at this one right here. Until next time, I'm Scott. Bye-bye.